Joe Rogan replaced Meg as time 100 strikes Sussexes off list take down their all images from homepage. Each year, our time 100 list lets us step back and measure the forces that move us. Which is more powerful, hope or proof? Ambition or altruism? The lessons of the past or the lure of the future? The people we spotlight range from the globally famous to the literally anonymous. The reward leaders and local activists, artists and athletes, scientists and moguls. One way or another, they each embody a breakthrough. They broke the rules, broke the record, broke the silence, broke the boundaries to reveal just what we're capable of. They're seekers with a fearless willingness to be surprised by just what they find. The fact that Meghan and Harry entered the top 100 in 2021 is a bad thing for this magazine and its credibility has dropped to the bottom. And this year, in the worst mess Meghan and Harry have brought to date, from bringing cameras to the Jubilee and Queen's funeral to filming the scandalous Netflix, until the memoir, 90% is Harry's fiction. All have caused their reputation to drop to negative percentages in both the US and the UK. Prince Harry's score among 18 to 24 year olds has fallen to zero, his lowest ever within this age group. So all the he's loved by the young, so that's a threat to the monarchy's future narrative, is like always much more complex than we might think. Also, we know on this sub, this issue of not liking them or calling them out isn't a conservative thing or liberals loving them. It's all too binary. The fact is many people of all ages, parts of the world, races, religions and genders etc. don't like them. Their small but mighty and loud squad can't handle that, so they retort with insults most of the time. People are tired of hearing about them all the time. Drama is fun for a short period and then becomes exhausting. And also, probably some people believed everything they heard in the documentary, so there's that as well. Of course, the Times has recognised the problem's situation and has removed all good articles related to the two from the homepage, plus the top 100 and published more harsh couple attack analysis articles. Joe Rogan is the name to replace Meghan and Harry's position before they were removed. It wrote, Harry craves being the centre of attention. Both of Harry's parents had well-developed egos. Although Harry sees himself as his mother's son, on the evidence of spare, there is more of Charles in him than he might like to acknowledge. Especially the petulant, petty princeling in Charles, who snaps when he's provided with the wrong inkwell and moans about the utter hell of being Prince of Wales. Spare is loaded with trivial complaints and absurd perceived slights against his status. And Meghan, with a talent for victimhood and offence, her propensity to lie dramatically on the floor in floods of tears, has a real talent for victimhood. There are lots of ways to be an influencer, both good and bad, and there are ways to get onto lists and magazine covers. It's rumoured that last year their PR people paid for their inclusion, but I don't think that's too likely. Although something may have been done to get them the cover, you have to remember, in addition to time given a strong group of women leading the hashtag MeToo, the cover for their person of the year, they also named Hitler to that position. For every Mahatma Gandhi, there is also a Donald Trump, I don't think it means much that Harry and Meghan were on the list. The cover didn't go well for them though, and followed by the disastrous New York City trip, well, the PR people really need to stop taking directions from Meghan and start having Harry and Meghan take direction from professionals.